It's a new player in Australian retail, but Swedish fashion powerhouse H&M is already making its mark here. Its flagship store posted a whopping $65 million of sales in just seven months. And in a move that could spell further trouble for its rivals, the style giant plans to keep expanding. It's fashion in a flash, on-trend pieces, low in price but sold en masse. And H&M has already rocked the Australian retail landscape. People do want our products and, and uh, at the end of the day that's the important thing. The retailer opened its flagship Melbourne store in April last year. Latest financial figures show in the first seven months of trading it raked in $65 million in sales. Its Sydney store was trading for only six weeks before accounts were closed for the year. H&M Australia posting a gross profit for 2014 of $47.67 million. The Australian stores now rank among the company's best performing globally. They'll look at this market Market, its performance and they'll see great impetus to continue to grow. Another four stores will be open this year. Sydney is on the list. A second store set to open in Pitt Street Mall in the CBD. Although it's under scaffolding now, $30 million is being spent developing this shopping centre that will house the new H&M. It'll join other international retailers already in the mall such as Zara and Sephora by the end of the year. H&M's financial results come as some local department stores struggle with sales. In March, Meyer reported a 23% fall in half-year profit and warned the full-year results were likely to drop even further. Despite its massive turnover, H&M Australia has posted an overall net loss for the year of nearly $1.5 million due to operating expenses and start-up costs. The company won't be setting up an online store for Australian shoppers until it has a greater physical presence here, a strategy aimed at settling in for the long haul. We hope that we will be around uh, for many years and, and that we will uh, be able to, to split it out on many more stores in the future. Laura Tunstall, Nine News.